Right, so um, I'm a little bit apprehensive about this. I mean, yeah. I'm surprised you can't smell it through YouTube. <laughs> Whoa. How many grams was it? 200 grams in five litres? Yeah, so basically this, this works out as being nigh on a triple shot mm. of coffee per pint, I think I worked it out at, which... It's the working man's beer. A breakfast stout. It's not the working it's the mental <laughs> man's beer. That's what it is. How's it going, beer drinkers? Welcome to another video. As you can see, we're outside. Um, it's currently two degrees centigrade, and if that, uh, if that and, uh, and and feeling great. So we're in uh, tier two at the moment. Tier two followed lockdown 2.0. Um, basically, the two are pretty much the same. Um, so this is this is the only option is to record outside. So that's what we're doing because in the house, big problemo. Anyway, it's um, what two months since we brewed? Yeah, I think so. I've got the dates on here if you want to know. It's about two months. It's about two months since we uh, had our brew day for the Milk Stout part one and two. And uh, so what we're going to do now is uh, is taste each of them and see how they handle. A little bit of a hiss. Is that a good sign? Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is the straight Milk Stout. That's good. Yeah. Presumably it's lightly carbonated to give it that velvety Yeah, that's right. Sensation. Yeah, so a little bit of carbonation, yeah. Certainly compared to like a lager or quite light, the carbonation. Okay, are we good to go? Yes, yeah. So this is the standard milk stout, isn't it? Smells apart. Standard milk stout, six point, they're all, well, 6.8%. Um, from the previous video, obviously, East Kent Golden Hops and Magnum, I think it was. Yeah? Yeah. So, am I right thinking that a milk stout should be slightly sweet? Yeah, slightly sweet, yeah. Cheers. Um, due to the lactose, obviously. Cheers, everyone. Fermentable sugar. Merry Christmas. Cheers, Chief. Yeah, it's good. Yeah? Yeah, it's very good. I like it. I don't want to blow my own trumpet, obviously, because I, brew I brewed it. But... Yeah, I'm happy with that. Very happy. Bit chocolatey. Yeah, yeah. Um, that is nice. You do get that sort of slight residual sweetness, don't you? Mm. It's mm. quite subtle. Mm. Very subtle. Sweet, but kind of smoky, like a sweet smoke. Yeah, yeah. That might be the fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably that's, that's probably a good thing to have it by a fire, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I like that. Love it. Definitely top three of the beers I brewed, I think. You think? Yeah, happy with that. Top three. But then possibly some of the flavoured ones we'll come on to in a sec might beat that yeah, top three. Yeah, trumpet, yeah. How does it compare to Pushkin Panther? Pushkin Panther was your Imperial mm -hmm. Stout. Yeah, that was 8.5, no, 8.5 or 9%, something like that. Maybe 9.5, that's at a ballpark. 8.5 to 9.5%. Right. So a little bit stronger than this. Um, this is more drinkable. I've only had a couple of inches out of the glass so far, but... I can see myself drinking this for a longer period of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not like the Pushkin Panther. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Um, the Pushkin nice. Panther was, it was like a really rich flavour, whereas this, I think, it's a bit more subtle. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'd, I'd go along with that. Um, very happy. Yeah? Yeah, it looks good as well. It does look good. It does. A Millennium Falcon bottle, bottle opener. So you know it's good. It looks cool, but it's not the most practical thing. Official Lucasfilm merchandise. I like that Ewok t-shirt you don't like. So we're moving on to the gingerbread. Uh, a little bit infused, more fused. Yeah. A bit more fizz. Yeah, a little bit more fizz. These were all um, naturally carbonated with um, priming sugar, whereas the previous one we just had was Dextrose. Kegs, so I used, no, 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 yeah. For these ones, yeah. But for the, the one that we just had, that was uh, carved with CO2 in a keg. Whereas these, because they're all um, with different flavor additions, I bottled them instead and naturally primed them with um, priming sugar. Okay, cool. Dextrose. <laughs> At last. Yeah. So Just the yes, is... it has dextrose would have been sufficient, but you know, you carry oh, on. Oh, look at that. Is that good? Yeah, very good. So this is, this is the gingerbread one. Yes. So um, I don't even remember how much, do you remember how much gingerbread you put in? more lively. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, this is... Um... It is more lively. Would that be the, a little bit of sugar from the gingerbread coming I reckon through? it probably is, yeah. So it might be slightly more carbonated than the one we just had. 
should be a huge amount in it. Um, so yeah, so this was this one here is G8, isn't it? So this is eight gingerbread biscuits, eight um, gingerbread biscuits, freshly baked and then stuffed down in home baked. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, old, yeah, and then um, stuffed down into the demijohn. So this is eight biscuits, cool. fresh out the oven. Cheers, old son. All right. Salud. <laughs> I can't really sniff. I can't really smell. Okay, I'm kind of getting like cinnamon. Really? I, I can't remember if there, was, if there was cinnamon. I'm not much of a baker. I can't remember if there's, there was cinnamon in it. I guess there it's was. Quite faint, I'd say. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh. It's pretty good. That's very good. I, I thought the gingerbread oh. was more overpowering than that. I thought it would be like a mouthful of gingerbread. With a with a beery aftertaste, but it's the other way around. It's it's, it's quite subtle. I reckon that's the best beer I've brewed. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. Whatever. Yeah, I think so. I think that's really good. I'm really happy with it. So how did you how did you separate the when presumably when it was when it was finished infusing? How did you separate it from? Uh, I cold crashed it for about a day and a half to two days. So I dropped the temp. It was fermenting at twenty degrees. Once it all finished fermenting, the entire batch in the you know the conical fermenter. Mm -hmm. um, Spot me. Transferred the half over into the into the keg, didn't I? And then the other half got separated into the, the yeah. five different demijohns. They were left in there for five days. Um, sorry, seven days at twenty degrees with the different flavour additions. And then at the end of the, the seven days, then I cold crashed it to it's for like a day and a half, two days um, at about one and a half, two degrees. So and there then you that you can it, it quite quickly is, is the. The temperature inside the demijohns drops. You can see all the, like the biscuit and everything dropping down to the bottom. And then you just, and then you just slide it out off the top. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. I yeah. I, it's quite hard for me to pick between the two. You you think you prefer it to the standard milk cell? I just because it's an in, it's a more interesting beer. I'm very very happy with the basic milk stout, but that just completely changes it, doesn't it? So we're going to move on to the ground coffee edition. Mm. This is the one that I'm worried about. This is the one that I think is going to um, jack us right up. Jack us right yeah. <laughs> so I've pretty much given up on the idea of sleep tonight. I'm not too sure about this one. When I was bottling it, um, I had a little snake, sneaky taste out of the fermenter. Which right. never really tastes that amazing anyway. But um, it kind of, you know, like if you left, you know the cafetiers, mm -hmm. if you left some coffee sitting around for a day and then you try it at the end of the day and it's awful, it kind of just tasted like that. Awful. Nah, not awful. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. You see what I mean? That yeah. coffee kind of. <laughs> Payment in full. <laughs> right, so um, I'm a little bit apprehensive about this. I mean, yeah. I'm surprised you can't smell it through YouTube. <laughs> Whoa. How many grams was it? 200 grams in five litres. Yeah, so basically, this, this works out as being nigh on a triple shot mm. of coffee per pint, I think I worked it out at, which... It's the working man's beer. A breakfast stout. It's not the working man, it's the mental man's <laughs> beer. That's what it is. Uh, right. I, I'm not sure I really... I think you should, as it was your concoction, I think you should go first, and then let me know your feedback. I can... I'll just I mean, warn the neighbours. Just... Neighbours, it's about to go down, I apologise. <laughs> I'm going to be running around the garden in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Mr Smith, get your missus ready. <laughs> it's strong. Um, You're not a fan. It's over coffee, isn't it? Massively. <laughs> yeah. yeah. At uh, last. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it, it's over coffee. It's not actually as bad as I was expecting. I was expecting to be wiped out by it. It's odd. It's. It's like if you've left coffee in the cafetiere for a day or two. And then poured in a little bit of less quite bitter. beer and then carbonated it. It's made it quite bitter. Mm. I think uh, it's what it is. I think it's the bitterness. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be finishing that one. Really? But it's your beer. It's just, it's... I'll pro all right, I'll probably finish it. Are you going to finish yours? Um, yeah, of course you are. I reckon if you're, if you're looking at ground coffee, I think probably half of what we used, or maybe even a quarter of what we used. Mm. I no, I don't know. I'm just not sure that's the way to do it. Right. Um, because you get, you get hints of coffee anyway, without, you know, the, the straight milk stout, you get hints of coffee, yeah. I would say. 
Yeah, but I don't. I don't think I'd do it that way again. We try. We've got the. We've got the espresso beer, haven't we? So we yeah. So we can try that and see how that compares. That does jack you up. I feel. I feel jacked up already. Yeah. Do you? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I want to fight someone, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. It, it doesn't work. It's not balanced at all. No. Um, Don't know what I was thinking. Power went to my head. Got a bit carried <laughs> away. So that one is probably a, I don't know a three out of ten maybe. Would you say? Uh, yeah, I'd say two. I don't know. My standard's pretty high. <laughs> so next up is the the melting pot. The <laughs> the milk chocolate and uh, coffee infusion. Hmm. So what we're we thinking? Two or three hundred grams of chocolate. Uh, Two or three bars, yeah, 100 gram bars of Galaxy Milk Chocolate. Refer back to our previous video. Um, and then, yeah, 10 espresso shots. Let me just empty that filth of the coffee out of there. <laughs> Should I go and rinse the glasses? Where's the pin? I don't know. Raise, raise the bottle. Oh, okay. No, no, there's some there. That's all right. We can work with no, that. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, that's all right. God, that coffee's got me jacked up. Yeah, it has. That mm, coffee has, has, gone, has, has gone straight through my system. Better? Yeah, no. it, it definitely better. Certainly more balanced. <laughs> you're getting you get, not getting any chocolate at all. No, I think it's because I'm so cold. <laughs> like, I don't know what that fire's doing. But... Are you cold? Is it even a bit? I don't think it's that bad. Is it? Not? Um, do you remember how much coffee went in here? Yeah, ten shots. Ten espresso shots. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's all right. That is all right. Mm. That is good. I'm not getting a lot of chocolate though. I'm quite surprised no. by that. Oh, it's nice though. It is good. Yeah, maybe try a little bit more chocolate next time. Yeah. People don't seem to, I don't know why, maybe people watching this can explain why, but I haven't really read up on why people don't do it, but I haven't seen a lot of people adding chocolate directly to, to beer. They tend to use like cocoa nibs and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, the process with this was to break the chocolate up into a into a jug, and then the hot espresso coffee went straight over the top of it. The plan was that that would maybe kill any any bugs because the coffee was obviously very high temperature. Yeah. Um, there's a lack of head, isn't there? That's married. Anything? anything? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that coffee is jacking me right mm. up. Anything kind of oily and chocolate, I suppose, has a little bit of oil in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it doesn't, I like it. It doesn't help head retention, so that's why I'm guessing there's a, there's a little bit of head, but there's yeah, it's not a lot. A huge My, mine's kind of gone. Um, I, I do like it though. Mm. I, I would say on my leaderboard, I, I'd say the straight milk stout is just ahead for me. Okay. With the gingerbread one a close second. Uh, with this one, this one not far behind the gingerbread actually. Okay. And then the coffee, quite a few places back. Oh really? I would say so. G15. 15. 15 gingerbread biscuits. I'd forgotten that we even did two That's different gingerbread sign. ones. Wasn't that a good sign? There was no hiss there whatsoever. Great. So far off to a bad start. Yeah. <laughs> but none. There's <laughs> almost no head whatsoever. <laughs> What's happened there? I don't know. We've, we've had a major malfunction. Might have to come back to G15 when I try another bottle. There's nothing there. G15 a private jet. <laughs> I'm not even sure I'm going to give this one the benefit of my time. It smells good. I could always rush home and grab another. I can't smell any gingerbread. I could always can rush you? home and grab another G15. Yeah, I can. Can you? Hmm. It's pretty faint. Oh, I was looking forward to that one. It's a shame, isn't it? I don't know what's happened with that then. Occasionally you just get them and it's not crimson. Taste properly. it, that's significantly sweeter. Is it? Yeah. Which suggests that well, it will be then because the obviously with the, if the cap was secured properly on top, the leftover yeast would be eating the, the added sugar, that, the priming sugar that I put in. Right. But the CO two would be contained instead of. Houston, we have a problem. Do you want to do it? Yeah, yeah. This one better be better than the last one. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Did it not? It did, but it it was very very short lived. That's okay. That's fine. That'll be alright. Some so there was a little bit of hiss, was there? Yeah, there was. Because I didn't hear it. Oh, it's, it's happened again. I'll do for me. 
gonna be the same again, isn't it? <sighs> it's that coffee one again, isn't it? This is yeah. So this is ten espresso shots without the galaxy chocolate. So just ten. Ugh. Oh yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's not that. That's funky. Blah, 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 blah. No, that's not. That's okay. awful. That's worse than the last one. What the worst coffee one? Really? Well, it's not carbonated, is it? <laughs> we've got. A, <laughs> we've got <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> we've got a uh, an issue. <laughs> What is get right? I need to get an actual proper bench press bottle capper, I think. All right, should we? What's the plan then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so that's the plan with that. Okay, so uh, after those those two failures we had, uh, Ed went home and he's picked up two more bottles. We have heard from another boob, uh, brew bro, Josh. Um, co-head brewer <laughs> but apparently his were flat too so it sounds like we might have uh, dropped a testicle on this one um, yeah I've, I've got an idea of what's happened I'm expecting because yeah. I mixed all the priming sugar up in one and then injected a certain X amount into each demijohn amateur not, hour yeah so I'm, I'm expecting these to be flat as well so let's, let's, let's give it a go we'll find let's out give it a go. go there's nothing like being mugged off on an international level ready so we're looking for a hiss well, there's a slight hiss, there's a slight hiss. It's not a huge amount. <laughs> that's flat again, isn't it? Yeah, that's flat. <laughs> Let's try. Uh, just, just, just a little know, bit. It's a little bit, isn't it? A little bit for me, please. That's it. Yeah, I like it. It's a shame it's, a shame it's, not, mm. it's, it's not got any carbonation, for sure. Yeah, it's a real head scratcher. I think I cocked up when I, on on the bottling day. I think it was a long day. I was tired from work, and I think I just didn't put priming sugar or this one or the ten espresso shot one. Which live and learn. Pay a little bit more attention. If next only, time. Eh? If, but, yeah. Yeah. if only my aunt had bollocks, she'd be my uncle. Y me llama el cocinero. Risita, qué? Ve por la paellera. Venga, que las dos de la tarde ya están aquí. Mira el bañado. En la chancla. Todo despeinado porque no me dio tiempo de nada ponerme las chanclas y el bañador. Voy a la playa, había subido la marea. Eso. Eso. Había subido la marea y con triple para ella. Eso. So there we have it. We've uh, we've tasted our milk stout. I think we, I, I think it went pretty well. Yeah, yeah, three out of five. So in terms of your leaderboard, then what for, um, for these? Your favourite is the gingerbread. Where does that gingerbread rank on your all-time brews? The 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 one with uh, so G eight, the one with the eight gingerbread. Eight gingerbread. For me personally, I think that's the best beer I've brewed yet, or we've brewed yet. So number one. Um, ding ding yeah, ding ding I ding. Think so. And then after that, the imperial stout. Then maybe the pale ale. Okay. Um, I'd like to try the G15 again with the 15 gingerbread biscuits. Yep. But obviously carbonated properly. Uh, ground coffee does not work. Yeah. For, for this. Not in that quantity. Or, no, no. I, I don't think at all. I think it just, even the, the coffee flavour that we did have, it just wasn't, it wasn't right. It wasn't rounded. Because you naturally get a bit of coffee anyway. Yeah. Whereas the coffee in the, the uh, 10 espresso shots with the Galaxy, that works really well, mm. I thought. Yeah, but we're saying more, more, more chocolate for next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably fifty percent more chocolate. Yeah. Uh, and make sure you put that priming sugar in. Yeah. Don't forget, kids. Priming sugar is essential if you want some sort of carbonation. Fact. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> and on that bombshell, it's time to end the show. Hmm. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our other videos. You guys take care, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping by.